Hey, Clayton Bates here, and in today's video, we're going to learn how to make an all products collection. Now, quickly before you get into it, I'm actually a registered and authenticated Shopify expert. There's actually hardly any Shopify experts in the whole world. A lot of people say they're Shopify experts. I'm actually authenticated Shopify expert. So that being said, I know your time's precious, so let's get into it. So when we first go into the back end of, back end of our Shopify website, we want to click here where it says products, and then we want to click collections here. Now, if you want a very detailed video on how to add all different types of collections, I'll leave a link. The first link in the description will be a link to that video that I made. This one's just about all products. That one covers everything. So when you're here, you just click create collection. And then we're going to put a title here. So all products. And then you can put a description here. This part here works very similar to Word document. So for example, if we press text, we can highlight it, press bold for like underline, all this sort of stuff. We can change the colors, all that sort of stuff there. Now, I'm going to make a more detailed video on how to do all the description and stuff because this section is on multiple different sections of the website and I want to go in a lot of detail. So if enough people leave comments about that, I'll make that video. We can make the collection manual, but for our all products collection, we want to make it automatic because we will forget to add products to an all products collection. If we have like if we're adding lots of products over time, we'll probably forget to add one or two of them into the collection. So it's best if we just do it automatic, autom automated so that the website does it all for us. Now down here we have conditions. There's lots of different things we can do with the conditions here, but for this one, we just want to click here. Inventory stock is greater than zero. So what this one's going to do is it will only put products here that have inventory. If you want to have products that don't have inventory that are sold out and you want them to display in this collection as well, you can add another collection, another condition called inventory stock is equal to zero. And then you want to change this products must match any condition, not all conditions. And this will pull sold out products and products with inventory. Now, personally, I recommend most people to not have the this um, condition where it pulls the out of stock ones. The way I look at things is, let's say you have 100 products. If four products are sold out, then that's cool. That will, that will actually work better on your website because people come and they'll see a couple sold out, which is actually a good thing uh, most of the time. The issue here is, Imagine if you have 30 or 40 products sold out and they go to this collection, you have 100 products, 30 or 40 of them are sold out. It's going to be really confusing to actually scroll past all the sold out stuff. So that's why sometimes I like to not do it like that. The other thing as well, a lot of the sold out products are normally the best selling products. So if you actually have it, it um, sorting by best selling products, a lot of the sold out products are actually going to be at the top of the collection. So that's normally why I remove it. And then over here, you can select online store. It will have like Facebook, all that sort of stuff. So you can select that. If you want to have a banner image for the collection, you can put it here as well if you want. Um, let's put an image of me here. Normally, I don't have a banner image for most of the most of the websites we build, but you can add it there as well. I'm making a in detailed a video about templates and stuff. Um, but most people watching this, they just need to use a default template. So what the default template is going to do, that image didn't work. Should have tested this before the video. Um, but theme template, basically on collections, we normally have uh, a default collection for every collection. Now, the only time you'd want to have a different collection or different template is if you wanted... Uh, each collection page to display differently. So if you want to add lots of section blocks and stuff, um, but most likely you don't need that, then you press save here. <clears throat> when you scroll down here, it will now have all the products that are here and you can sort it by best selling, um, all different things here. So newest, if you wanted to, um, you can do it manually and manually move stuff. 
like that if you want, if you click and hold these dots. Uh, for the all products, I normally do best selling uh, like that. And then now we have a best selling collection like that. What you could do as well, oh, sorry, all products collection, that's what we have. Um, that's basically how you add an all products collection. Like I said, there's a more detailed video about collections. First link in the description. Hopefully this helped and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.